All right, guys, gals, this is DJ Wolf, and of course, uh, this is DJ Wolf Live talking about this uh, announcement for Joe Biden. I got some other things to talk about regarding that right quick. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. Hey, um, I was thinking about something about three, four days ago. There was a something that came out about uh, there was a hundred prominent black men. I don't know exactly who they were. I guess from all walks of life and entertainment and all that. That sent a note. I guess it was a signed uh, petition to Joe Biden asking him. Well, I wouldn't even say ask at this point. Probably begging him, groveling with him to pick a black female candidate to run with him as vice president. Now, my thing is, why you got brothers so simp- simplified on that shit, number one? That leads to my question number two. What difference is it going to make if a black female candidate is his running mate. What's she going to do? Be a symbol to black people that oh, women can do this too. We don't. This no, this ain't the time for similar things. Okay. We've gotten past that stage. It's time for action. It's time for people who want to get in the dirt and pull out the bullshit. And reset the path. So it's got enough of that old goofy shit about. Well, we need a black female candidate that's going to represent uh, the constituent. That's symbolism. That's all we. I mean, I don't know. Now you got a, a sorority sisters all across the country and all around the world talking about. Oh, Kamala Harris. These are alum. What that's going to do for you? Make you feel good. We always looking for something to make us feel good, but nothing to, to, to take care of our issues, of our problems, or of our social ills. How the hell is it gonna make you feel good if it ain't gonna do nothing for you? None of that make any sense. And no one else has ever tried to make sense of something that didn't make any sense at all. But y'all stand on that symbolism. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I tried. But I don't get it. You know. Kamala Harris has had a long history of putting black folks in jail. She has a long history of locking black folks and kids up for dumb shit. You know. Kamala Harris has never been a rider for the black community. Never. All of a sudden, she run for office. Now she's a rider. She was talking about how racist Joe Biden was. Now, all of a sudden, she's Joe Biden's can uh, a running mate. None of this shit makes sense, people. We got uh, our, our history, our culture shows that we love the symbolism, but we don't want the reality of what happens after the fact. I, I, it just makes no sense to me. None of it makes any sense. You know? We're riders of symbolism. We're not riders of things getting done. We care more about symbolism than anything else. Oh, if we get in office, it'll be all right. No, it won't be all right. Because she's not going to do anything. We had Obama in there for eight years. Look at him. What did he do? Not a damn thing. Not only did Obama not do anything, he didn't even speak out on stuff he should have been speaking out about. Period. Not even as president. He wouldn't do it. He won't do it. He ain't that he was not that kind of a rider. And neither is Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, in essence, is really Obama 2.0. The Trojan horse. Coming to make you think that he's that she's about something. Well, she's really fooling all y'all. She's fooling everybody, man, with that bastard. She's no better 
And I hate to say she's not much better than Trump. You can't trust her either. You know, she's going she gonna to gaslight everybody into thinking that she's going to do something for black folks. When she had admitted on radio, I heard her say it. I'm not just going to do just something for just black people. No! She actually said that. Okay? She made a joke about black people trying to make change in, in, in an election one time years ago. I saw that. Look it up. Google it. She don't care about black people. You know? She tried to act like she fit into uh, black people with, uh, through music and stuff, claiming uh, two rappers that she used to listen to back in the 80s who never had records out. They weren't even out of high school. <laughs> you know? She made claims to that. And, and, you know, she... I, I, all I said about it, the vote for Kamala Harris... Or who I refer to as come on Harris. A vote for her is a vote for the same old bullshit. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Donald Trump are all cut by the same cloth. Kamala Harris family has been reported been reported that her family, I don't know which side of family, I think it's the father's side, used to be slave owners. Yeah. Okay. I know some people have had to do with her, but she's descended of that. Alright. Let's be honest. She don't really claim blackness unless it, it, it unless it, it works for her, uh, her interest. You know. Joe Biden was the author of the Crime 94 Crime Bill. Alright. This is a guy who also said that you if you don't vote Democrat and you don't vote for him, you ain't black. Come on now. I don't want to vote for him. I don't want uh, uh, to vote for a guy who, 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 who's trying to tell me about my blackness and he's white. Really? You're a white guy trying, trying to tell me about my blackness. Who the hell are you? You know? I don't need that. Donald Trump. Did you know Donald Trump and uh, his, his uh, Ivanka? I guess it was his wife. They both made campaign contributions to Kamala Harris. 2014. Hmm. Now all of a sudden he, he can't stand her. Really? It's all a bunch of horseshit. He's they, uh, and I was telling somebody these politicians are all about one thing: money. They're all about that and not much else. They all talk and not much substance. That's every one of them. That's every one of them. That's literally every one of them. I don't care what anybody say. You can take that to the bank. All. Oh, facts. They don't care about people, man. They don't. You need somebody who's going to be about that blood, about that new blood that's going, who's really about people. Somebody from your uh, community that you need to back up with some funds if necessary to get things going because otherwise you're never going to have people who are going to represent you just from your neighborhoods. These guys ain't from the neighborhoods. Kamala Harris and uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump are never been in your neighborhoods and prefer not to be there. They didn't grow up in those neighborhoods. They grew up rich, all three of them. Although uh, Joe Biden tried to claim he grew up poor, and I know it's a goddamn lie. Kamala Harris tried to claim she grew up uh, middle class, and that's a goddamn lie. And you know Trump, hmm, Trump don't even know what middle class was, you know? So it's all about a bunch of bullshit, a bunch, bunch of bullshit, a bunch of rich ass people who make money off the backs of poor people. Bottom line, think about it. Better ask for the tangibles. This is DJ Wolf. I'm out.